So I, I think we are coming towards the end of our questions, but the next one we have, uh, Professor Harper. Good afternoon, good afternoon, friends. Uh, I'm a former Lloyds Bank manager, and I have always respected Lloyds Bank uh, prior to the 2008 banking crash. Unfortunately, your predecessors have done a very awful job in trying to recover the bank from that dire time. Uh, I'm a professor of banking. I, I, I train bankers, and I've done it all my life. Um, I worked for Revenue and Customs, looking at the bank's balance sheets and looking at their activities for Lloyds and RBS. I'm time-served, proven retail banker and internal auditor and former managing director. I'm 72 years old and have witnessed, witnessed the good, bad and ugly and pure evil that banking has become. Customers can never trust banking to do the right thing. I trained, have trained bankers for most of my careers, and I'm a mentor for graduates at university. Whilst employed at HMRC, I trained tax inspectors for the tax academy, whilst working as retail banking inspector. I've written to you and your predecessors, offering to guide you with the rebuilding of the bank to a man, you've all refused my offers. Turnbull, Dodds, and other reviews currently being undertaken in the United States as a result of George Osborne's activities have to be addressed and dealt with. I'm ashamed of this bank and your predecessor's mismanagement of it. I was hoping under Robin, the bank would once again regain the respect from the community and customers that it had under the stewardship of a good friend, Sir Jeremy Morse. But alas, no. We were once an honest bank, but alas, alas, no longer. We can never be proud of the bank Black Horse again. The galloping herd is untrusted and a fraud, more akin to the Wild West herds that roam aimlessly. Now it is run by lawyers and not bankers. And this is my problem. Lawyers have very different ethics, morals, and standards to those expected from bankers. The billions that you've spent on your lawyers fighting the indefensible is money wasted, said to be a billion pounds a year. Your victims are plentiful. Your customers, families, and their children, also businesses, with their supply chain customers, are all victims. The whole country has paid the price through austerity. Fines in excess of $540 million you and your predecessors have paid using shareholders' funds. The shareholders want reparation, as do your victims. We did not authorize these payments. Fines equate to crimes. As a professional retail banker, I'm ashamed of the current board because you have done nothing to right the wrongs of yesteryear. You need to sack your lawyers and start to be honest. The billions you have spent fighting our victims is unacceptable. The post office chair has been measured and found wanting. She should be in prison instead of the innocent postmasters who are victims of IT fraud. Lloyd's banking group frauds are far greater than those undertaken by the post office. And their lawyers, one cannot leave NatWest RBS out of this charge. I note that the director in charge of RBS Global Recovery Group is on our board. I'll say no more on that. All I would say is we're here to help you. You don't listen to us. I want to help you. I know the issues. I know how to train bankers. And I know how to get this right. Please, will you meet with us and listen to us and act accordingly? Thank you. Thank you, Professor Harper. I, I actually feel that um, on behalf of my colleagues at Lloyd's, I just need to put a slightly different uh, slant on some of the things that have been said. Uh, I am proud 
of being chairman of Lloyds Bank. I am proud of what our people do all day, every day. And I fundamentally believe that they do their best to achieve the right things for our customers. And I just think it's important that I put that on record. Because certainly if you look at the external uh, reviews, uh, the which reviews, for example, uh, the service that we provide to our customers uh, pr uh, compares extremely well with those of our peer group. Uh, so I wouldn't want those shareholders. I understand that some shareholders have fundamental issues with the group, and I respect that. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't want shareholders as a whole to go away from this meeting feeling that some of the things that have been said today are representative of the whole of this organization. I'm yes, sorry. Are you saying there are no rotten apples at all in the group anywhere? I, I don't think anyone can say in an organization of the complexity and size of this uh, that everything we do every day of the week is perfect. No, I'm not. But I am proud of what this organization and what the people in this organization do for this country. Please Thank you. you We've already had our discussion. Thank you, Mr. Murray. OK, so we're now reaching the end of the question answer session. So please ensure you vote now if you wish to do so, as I'll be closing the voting when the question and answer session ends. And I think we've got a final question uh, from Mr. Laity as a proxy for Mr. Meelam. Good afternoon, Chairman and fellow uh, shareholders. Um, as the discussion has developed here today, my question has got a little bit of a part B on it because I've noticed a few things that I might be able to help with. I'm here today as a result of at least 100 customers and shareholders of Lloyds Bank who have a grievance of one, one form or another, including my own. I am a professional criminal investigator and a former police detective. I can tell you that some of the issues that you are discussing here about Bristol, they are being resurrected by the police because they were not um, investigated properly the first time around. And I can assure you, as good as I'm stood here, I have a plethora of criminal matters that are covered in a lot of the cases. Having said that, they could amount to as much as three billion pounds of claims. This is my information, this is what I've studied, and this is what I know. I'm not here to raise criticism. What I'm here now is I've seen what other people have said here, and it occurs to me that there is a disconnect between the bad apples, or whatever you like to call them, and the board. And I would like to help the board with a liaison of some sort, I have prepared a short handout, which I can give to you all in a minute, which will highlight some of the issues that you are not seeing. It is apparent from my studies over the last seven years that the board is not aware of a few of the bad apples, and we have people who are senior managers who are investigating their own wrongdoing, who are liaising with the Financial Ombudsman Service, and I can give you evidence of everything from forged signatories to false instruments being proffered in court and personally witnessing um, perjury. I don't wish to go any further with that. I can help the board stop that now. That may be a big claim. I have a good team with me, and my team can help you. And what we need is your help and your commitment to help us stop this in its tracks. It has the potential of being far, far bigger than HBOS. We can stop it now by dealing with the issues. I've been with Lloyds for 40 years. Three quarters of that time with Lloyds, I had no issues. I've had loans, I've had business, everything. Never had an issue. I had one small thing went wrong, and that's escalated to a very serious matter through cover-ups on the minority. And I agree, you've got 58,000 employees, only a very small minority of those employees are bad apples. But we need to identify them. I've identified some, I need your help to stop this in its tracks now. And my question is, 
A couple of years ago, Lord Blackwell stood where you are now and he gave a commitment publicly to work tirelessly, I think he said, with police and other agencies to stomp out any fraud or any wrongdoing within the group. And since then, I understand that there are replacements on the board. I just would like to clarify, have I got that commitment from everybody on that board today? You do. Thank you. Does that go for everybody? It does. Thank you. Thank you. So on that score, I think a liaison between a, shall we say, non-police agency and a non-agency, a non one representative, one single representative of the people who have now got a grievance that is coming up to a head, and it's now being investigated by at least seven police forces that I know of, individual matters. Before that gets out of hand, is there any way we can form some liaison with one where I can give you a piece of paper where you can stop it in its tracks? Thank you, Mr. Letty. Um, please uh, hand over the document that you would like to give to uh, somebody from security will take it, and I will make sure that I read it myself. Thank you. For your Thank you.